Well, it's another morning where we need to grab the umbrellas as some showers and thunderstorms are rolling through, but they don't last all morning long. In fact, today brings us lots of dry time plus some warmer temperatures. This morning, we're seeing some showers and thunderstorms moving through as of right now to the west of I-39 and mainly even north of I-88, just to give you an idea, right into the corner of northern Illinois. That's moving through parts of Freeport, Polo, stretching into now parts of Rockford. Then further to the east, we are seeing a couple of those showers and thunderstorms now slowly moving out. But you're noticing we have been seeing some heavy rain into the northern part of DeKalb County, even parts of Boone County. So that lightning now moving and taking over parts of Marengo, but we also have this flood advisory. It's in effect until 845 this morning, so may end up seeing some low lying flooding even in those areas with poor drainage. So in case you run into any of those flooded roads by chance as well, make sure you avoid that for the morning's commute. This is in effect for parts of Boone County, including Belvedere, the corner of McHenry County and most of DeKalb County. So keep this in mind. It'll expire shortly as we then see the rain exit. So that is the good news. We'll end up seeing some dry time moving in. The showers this morning fizzle out. Really not much to show you here on future track as will be dry for the rest of our Wednesday. Cloud cover, however, does stick around as your temperatures warm. We climb near the 80s, 79 degrees for your forecast high. Some spots may break into those low 80s as the winds also stay calm. So we warm up and we even have a mild night ahead, dropping into the upper 50s. Clouds remain even through Thursday morning before some more showers return. We have yet another chance for rain into tomorrow, mainly into the afternoon and evening. A lot of that rain taking over for the late afternoon and evening now about 830 on future track, seeing some of those areas of heavy rain moving in and then following us even early into Friday. Here's about four in the morning. We'll end up seeing a lot of that rain fizzling out as we head throughout the rest of our day on Friday before we get some more dry time into the weekend. So we do see frequent chances of rain in the forecast, even following us into things like Sunday. But that doesn't mean it'll be a washout each and every day. We'll still get plenty of dry time moving forward beside, uh, despite those frequent chances. So early this morning, then we're dry. We warm back up. Your temperature is also staying above average. In your most accurate 10-day forecast, we kick off the first official day of fall by Saturday. Before we end up seeing some more chances for rain moving in on both Sunday and potentially Monday, that will then drop your temperatures into the low 70s, if not upper 60s. Talk about feeling like fall.